Good morning, everyone. It's Councillor Glenn here. Happy Canada Day. Bonne fête du Canada. Uh, this is a special Canada Day edition of my weekly updates. I'll do another one tomorrow on Saturday, but it is Friday, July 1st. Uh, we just finished a flag raising ceremony and national anthem. Uh, thank you very much, Savannah LaRue, a Stittsville resident and a student at UROC music, music School. She sang the national anthem. We had a small crowd on hand and uh, the folks from Hazel Dean Gardens helped to hoist up the flag. Uh, so that was a really nice ceremony to kick off Canada Day. Um, uh, after the ceremony, met one of the families there, the Patil family. They just received their Canadian citizenship on June 7th. So this is their first Canada Day. Had a really nice uh, conversation with them. And uh, wh what a great way to start off Canada Day. A small community gathering and meeting people who are brand new Canadians. Um, just about three, three and a half weeks since they received their citizenship. Super special. Um, also like to acknowledge we are on unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe Nation. And today, especially today, uh, I think it's important that uh, everyone takes some time to reflect and to learn about the rich history and culture and experience of Indigenous people in Canada. And uh, we thank them for their hospitality here in our city of Ottawa and in Stittsville. Uh, I wanted to tell you today about some of the events going on in Stittsville in particular. Uh, the Legion has some uh, family-friendly activities happening. I believe it's from 11 a.m. onwards. Uh, lots of things happening at the Legion. They're on Stittsville Main Street, just south of Abbott Street. And then the other big event today is at uh, the Stittsville Village Association Canada Day. They are back after a couple of years without being able to do an event due to the pandemic. They are back with their huge Canada Day event at uh, Sacred Heart High School and the Cardo Rec Center. So basically Abbott and Shea. Lots of events going on all day today starting at noon. There's music, there's bouncy castles, there's food. Uh, all sorts of things for kids to do and of course tonight fireworks so Sacred Heart High School, Cardell Rec, Abbott and Shea that's where the fireworks are if you can leave your car at home and walk over or maybe put a light on your bike and take your bike over really help to keep uh, vehicles out of the area if we can uh, just be safe out there if you're heading downtown be aware there are a lot of road closures uh, more than usual you can find information at ottawa.ca or at ottawapolice.ca. The best way, if you need to head downtown tonight, is uh, to take OC Transpo. OC Transpo service is free uh, for Canada Day, so a pretty good way to get around, although those buses and trains will get pretty crowded, uh, I'm sure, after the fireworks tonight downtown. By the way, the uh, big stage and the big party for Canada Day, the official party, is at Le Breton Flats this year, not Parliament Hill, because Parliament Hill is under construction so uh, and and check out like i said check out ottawa.ca check out ottawapolice.ca uh, if you can go to, to twitter and check out the ottawa police feed there will be some uh, updates and so on to road closures depending on on different uh, demonstrations of protests that may or may not be happening today we don't know but obviously police are prepared and will be responding to that um, I hope you have a great Canada Day today. I hope you have a chance to uh, celebrate with some friends and family. I hope you get out into the community. Uh, there's some co community events on today that have, have not been happening in a couple years and I know they'd really appreciate uh, having the community out and enjoying the events. There's a lot of work that goes into organizing these. So uh, please go out and, and have some fun. Meet some of your neighbors in the community. And, and maybe one last thought. I think one of the things that really makes Canada what it is is that citizens and, and people in Canada we really help each other out so my challenge to you on Canada Day is a challenge to think about how you can get involved in your community uh, whether it's uh, shoveling a neighbor's driveway in the winter or volunteering to maintain a skating rink in your community or coaching a sports team or teaching someone how to how to garden or, or passing on a skill that you have um, taking part or, or leading or fundraising for a cause that you love, maybe running for office, whatever it is that makes sense to you, please do something to get involved in the community as a volunteer. And it's how we're gonna keep uh, strong ties and a really healthy community and a healthy country going forward. So that's it, happy Canada Day, fun fete to Canada. Uh, please party and celebrate responsibly. I'll talk to you tomorrow for my regular update. Take care, bye.